Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we're making buttercream bread. If you have not subscribed yet, please click on the channel icon down below. I would love to share my weekly cooking experience with you. Here's the list of ingredients for the bread. The recipe can also be found in the description field under the video. Prepare for a cup of warm whole milk. Add one tablespoon of brown sugar and two tablespoons of uh, dry yeast. Mix it well. Uh, you can put the milk, if it's the uh, milk directly from the refrigerator, you can use microwave to microwave for about 30 seconds and they will give you the perfect temperature. Then add the liquid ingredients, mix well with three cups of uh, all-purpose flour. Add some uh, brown sugar, about four tablespoons. one teaspoon of salt use a spatula or spoon to mix it well at this time uh, the dough could be very sticky so try not to use your hand because you're gonna get uh, the flour all over your hand and it's hard to deal with uh, so use a, use a tablespoon to stir it and try to make a dough as much as you can. Don't worry about it. We have some trick to deal with it. I did try my hand at the end because there are some dried flour on the bottom of my container. Let it sit for about 20 minutes and then the miracle is going to happen. And this is the time that we're going to melt some butter and just add to the to the dough and then uh, use your hand to squeeze it and then you're gonna realize that this is the time the dough is no longer that sticky of course is because your hand has all of the oil and butter as well um, but truly the texture of, of the toe uh, has changed after that five minutes, uh, 20 minutes. So just keep kneading. Um, I counted the time I actually needed for about five minutes or so. If you have a kneading machine, of course, that will be uh, better, but I use my hand for most of the time. And you see it's no longer sticky. Uh, and we make sure the dough is very smooth and nothing gets stuck on the container either. And then we're going to cover it. And let the dough rise uh, for about two hours or until the dough doubles in size and this is the time it's ready. Take dough out, keep kneading, um, and then uh, We're going to cut the dough into two pieces evenly because I have two loaf pan and that's why I was trying to prepare for two equal portions. Keep kneading and then divide them equally into three parts. need 
it again. And then we're going to use the roller to roll it to a uh, kind of like a long uh, rectangle shape or belt, kind of like a belt or stripe. Um, it doesn't really matter at this point how wide you want to roll it, but just make sure that it's, you fully roll it evenly. Uh, make a very thin patty. dough from the top. Keep rolling it until you get a, a roll like this and put it aside. And then we're going to deal with the rest of uh, uh, all of the smaller doughs and to have the same uh, rows and six rows. And then we're going to uh, use the roller to roll these rows and this time you make it about two inches wide and the bottom one you want to make it wider and thinner and you roll it and then we put it into a uh, container and let it rise for about 20 minutes or until it doubles in size and we're gonna then use one egg um, we are going to uh, lightly touch um, some uh, egg yolk on top of it. If you don't have a brush, you can use a kitchen towel just like what I did. And then put it into the oven, preheated 370 degree Fahrenheit and bake for 20 minutes. And the bread is ready. And you, it's perfectly fine for, for you to eat the bread just as is. It's very tasty, I promise you. But since I'm trying to recreate this buttercream um, bread, I'm making the cream as well. So heavy cream, one cup. Add um, butter and powdered sugar. Whip it. And then this is the time the bread is already completely cooled down. You wanna make sure it's completely cooled down. And then uh, we're going to spread the buttercream inside. So my hometown is near the border of Russia and the Korean Peninsula. So as a result, it is very typical to see Russian and Korean fusion food around. The buttercream bread is one of the tasty desserts. I'm not even sure about its heritage. However, it always lifts my spirit in a gloomy day. And that's why I'm sharing with you and to recreate it in this recipe. Here you go. I typically put it into refrigerator for overnight just so uh, the cream is thicker and settled. And in the morning I took it out, I eat it. It is so delicious, yummy, and you can eat it as a snack too. It's great to have you today. I hope you have enjoyed the recipe and the video. Please do check out the other videos in my channel and subscribe.